The link down below has been replaced, but I still urge you to head to the link below, educate yourself, and consider supporting Ukraine financially. All the sources down there have been vetted. Your money will go to the right place. <laughs> it's routine now. Let's see what we're doing today. No. Dingo, is it true you encountered our pilot was stranded? Oh. Well, uh, yeah. I ran into Bernard at some point, but then he got, like, snatched up by a leaf creature. Oh. Leaf? What? Oh, we saw the leaf creature pick someone else up and toss them onto a big pop. Bernard and I tried to follow, but we were too late. They dragged the castaway into a cave, and suddenly they were growing leaves too. Really? You think I'd lie about this? Who is this character anyway? So then the leaf creature in charge spotted us. We got out of there as fast as we could, or at least that's what I thought. When I turned around, Bernard was gone. Maybe he didn't make it out, or maybe he got turned into a leafling too. A leafling? Oh, that's what me and Bernard started calling them. It's much faster to say leafling than leaf creature, or leaf person, or leaf guy. And let's face it, we don't want to say Leafy. We want to forget that dude. <laughs> Catchy, isn't it? What or who are these Leaflings? But first things first, we need to find and rescue our pilot. Officers to your stations. Acknowledged. I'm going to go out of my way to not say copy that. <laughs> You're all set to learn new skills. Cool. I want to visit the lab, though. Shows a running tally of how many Pikmin are standing idle. The treasure gauge. The headlamp. That might be important later. Let's get the treasure gauge, though. It's back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope it's not as obnoxious as it was in Pikmin 2. Pick, pick, carrot. Oh. Has a paralyzing effect. Hello, hello. Toss one of these crunchies to a creature and watch this bitter flavor paralyze them from head to toe or tail. There are plenty of picnic carrots at the pantry, but some are duds and way too bitter to be considered edible. Oh. By us, anyway. <laughs> All right, so we get one for free, and then we gotta pay for more. What's the scrumpy bone do? It's a superfood that replenishes Hochi's HP. Okay. His voice is the most exhausting. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. I want to talk to the new guy. Actually, hang on. You know what we ought to do? Blues still need a few more numbers. And we have a chance to buff up their numbers just a little bit here. And I kind of want to visit the new area today. You can all relax now. Dingo's back. I don't know how the rescue corps made it this long without me. Guess I'll find out soon enough since the captain's making me rest up a bit before I get back into action. Oh. So we can't take him with us. Well, that's a shame. So I guess it's just me and the pick boys. 
the picnic boys. Alright, what are we learning today, Captain? Alright, we got four points. And we've got super buff. Or we could get chomp. Or we could get doggy paddle. Oh, she can swim faster. Healing. Command. Go to your base. Call them to you. It also enables go here on the radar map. Uh. Get him to carry more. We've got two more points. All right, let's get the attack. Scrumpy Bone! I know there's no P in there, but Scrumpy sounds better. <laughs> Roll sit over here. The SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. Which area would you like to explore? We're going to Blossoming Arcadia. What mysteries await us here? All right, zero percent. Brand new area. Never been. The stream didn't even make it this far. I have no idea what's going to happen, but let's find out. Birdies? There's a house! Ooh, and the cherry. And a and a whale? <gasps> the Pikmin thieves. Let's get a scouting party ready. Twenty and twenty. This is the scout group. Get the butterflies! Oh, we got the butterflies. All right, we're gonna have a look around. Get our bearings. Are these the leaf guys? <gasps> yeah, they are! And we got the butterfly. All right, so the birdies. Kill the... Ooh. Okay, those guys are kind of vicious. They almost got my boys. Is that a ring pop? You remember those ring pop commercials? Where the bastard in the movie theater is... Trying to get past everybody. And all of the Skittles fall out of the kid's bag. And she's like, oh no! Totally overdramatic about it. Like infomercial levels of crazy. Yeah, you guys remember. <gasps> and the paper crane! How heavy is it? It can't be that heavy, it's paper. I don't think you could pull it from here. 
Throw it from the other side. Did that guy just eat the cherry? What the hell, man? Well, we got the paper crane. How do we get the top of that nesting doll? If you're not careful, those old dudes will fight back. Jesus Christ! Why does it need so much clay? Come on, fellas. We're gonna look around. Wait. Who are you? Red alert. We have another castaway. And next to them, could that be the leafling that attacked Dingo? Yeah, that's definitely them. Which means that he, that, that could be Bernard on the ground next to them. Oi. Come back. Wherever it is, we can't let them get turned into a leaf like Follow them. Uh, okay. Maybe in a minute. We're kind of in the middle of building a delightful little bridge. Remarkably efficient construction. <laughs> There's a toy boat! Say that three times fast. Me, <laughs> Get the butterflies! Get the fucking butterflies! There we go, we got him. <laughs> butterflies are like the hardest thing to hit. Fragrant, fragrant ravine, they called this place. All right. Come on, fellas. We gotta bust a move. Well, this is unlocked. I want to get that boat. But first, we should probably check out that cave. Seems like the right thing to do. A long walk from the ship to build a bridge here. Trial run. Your Pikmin cannot join you. Unfinished tasks on the surface will be called off. What? What's going on here? The Pikmin aren't following for some reason. Guess you two are on your own. Good luck, Fiddlebird. You're torchy. Uh... Pikmin without the Pikmin. Gathering Pikmin is crucial to success. The more you have, the more things you can transport. What is this place? I guess we can figure that out later. For now, let's focus on finding that castaway. Found him. I see that. Over there. Well, shit, we're too late. What in the world? To those who do not embrace Dandori cannot survive this planet. But if they grow the leaves, they will thrive. You, skin-having one, do you believe you do not need the leaves 
I will test your abilities to see if this is true. I invite you to face me in Dandori Battle. I have provided the Pikmin you will need to support you in the challenges ahead. Listen closely. Find objects and transport them back to your base within the time limit. To win, collect the highest total combined weight. If you wish to retrieve your castaway, prove that your Dandori abilities are superior to mine. Now, the Dandori battle begins. I'm gonna start by digging that out. It's gonna take a little bit to dig it out, so, uh... At least we don't gotta pluck them. The strawberry is ours! You cannot have it! Pull it! My orange! Fuck you! Oh, no you don't! <sighs> Wait, alright, there we go. Now the dog is on him. Fight him! The fuck, man? Ochi, pull! Kill their dog! Kill his dog! Is his dog dead? Okay, yeah, dog's dead. Oh no. Moss. Man, I'll fucking kill your dog. <laughs> Fuck your dog. Yeah, he has more than us, but I'm about to pull ahead big time. No, you fucking don't! Okay, we're winning. We're winning on the orange. What I really need is to... Stop fucking... Stealing the orange! <sighs> Even with the dog, they can't keep up. Excellent. All right, we've pulled ahead quite a bit there. Actually, we're losing very badly. The strawberries aren't gonna be enough. We need the apple. Okay. We can still win. Okay, I guess we're not getting that strawberry, you rat bastard. Okay, the apple's our last hope. What the fuck? How is this fair? I spent most of the fucking fight fighting over the goddamn orange. Get the dog on that immediately.
No, you don't. All right, this time. See, I wasn't prepared the first time. I'm more laid back. If it actually wants me to compete, though. Killed my dog? All right, so be it. Maybe I will kill yours. I'm definitely taking this orange, though. There's not a goddamn thing you can do to stop me. Now, can we kill that wall? I will overpower you and your dog! My dog. <sighs> Two minutes left. Oh, no, you don't. All right, now we gotta overpower him. Which we will! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! And the strawberry. Ow! We're not fireproof yet. Just gonna increase our Pikmin capacity. And then. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, boys, go get it. Go to town, boys. Ooh, yeah. This is where the big money comes in. And the apple. <laughs> He no longer has any hope of winning. Look at him, he's over there struggling. Also, apparently I could just shovel Pikmin onto a strawberry. Okay, maybe not a strawberry. Steal their gold! Damn it! Okay, so we can't steal their gold. <laughs> Unfortunate. I still win. <laughs> and that's when we got the gold. You won by at least 30. Yeah, I kind of left him to do his own thing. The strength of your Dandori power is magnificent. I will return this one to you. No? Will he just lift? Who in space and time was that? Well, whoever they are. They weren't lying. Your den already tell it was on full display. Now let's get this cast away out of here. Also, for the record, I made up that word. And nobody likes a show off, so get out of this video. <laughs> nobody likes you, Captain. I think you'll find that nobody likes you, Colin. What about me? Uh, we already forgot your name, actually. Oh. Huh? They really are growing leaves out of their head. 
We seem to be suffering from the same condition as the leafy individual you just challenged. Transport them back to the SS Beagle right away. If it's all the same to you, I would like to get a full squadron of blues. We're going after the toy boat. We're also going to get stuck. Actually, no, we're not. Because... We're nowhere near where the ship needs to be. Finally, God. <sighs> Frago. How many did we lose? None. <laughs> Hell yeah. Feels good. Well, for that one, there's a yo-yo over there as well. I just can't get over the fact that they have leaves growing out of their head, and their face is all bushy. Let's check their ID info. Error. Unable to read data. What? What's this? Unable to read data? They should have biometric authentication, but this is definitely an issue. What are we supposed to find out who this is? Hmm. Bit of a predicament. What are these? Huh? Oh! 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 Creepy crawlies! Creepy crawlies! Creepy crawlies! The pigmen actually fear these things! Also, it's not a yo-yo, it's a clacker. It's a castanet. Where are you going? Just swim it back. Okay, so he can't transport things through water. Gotcha. He's also quite slow in the water. And there's also that one right there. <laughs> yes! Okay, how do we get it? Oh, gee. Can I prop up on you and that? Yeah, I can do that. Finally, we could get our capacity up to 50. Higher Pikmin capacity means higher Pikmin fun. And for the record, I would have liked to have had 100 from the beginning. This is ridiculous. Hey, you know what? I think we will build that bridge. Kill this leaf. I think it's gotten bigger. The number of Pikmin you can withdraw was increased by 10 again. This makes me want to feed that onion even more. How do we get to that nesting doll?
Well, the blues are on the move to build the bridge. And we're gonna have to kill that thing, because he's eating cherries. Alright. Let's get the numbers up. We have 50 now. I'm gonna have to get off and pluck him out of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot for some reason. Hey, fellas. We're gonna see what's on the other side of the bridge. You wanna come with? Of course you do. It's not like you guys have anything better to do. Where's the rest of it? Oh. It's on its way. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now we're gonna see what's on the other side of that bridge. I see berries. Ride. We'd start immediately with a ramp. What is that? I think my boys might die if I threw them at that. So I'm not gonna. That's a sprinkler. Huh. And a grapefruit. What was that noise? Alright, well, I think this is an ice wall. We're gonna need the ice pikmin in order to break it open. Cave. There's a cave up here. Beneath the passage, all I can see is an intermediate, indeterminable blackness. I tossed a pebble into the abyss, but never heard it hit the ground. I must proceed with caution here. I don't want any Pikmin accidentally thrown to their demise, let alone shaken off by some creature. Drafty Gallery. Right, well, give me a... Give us a minute. We'll do... We will do Drafty Gallery. Alright, you know what? Fuck it, we'll get this one tomorrow. Just leave it right there. It's not like they're gonna make us dig it up again. Red and yellow. Gotcha. Alright. Now we got an actual cave. Not some versus thingy. I'm guessing that's what the other one was. The one we saw... Last week, the guy just standing there.
All right, hang on. Let's secure the floor first. And then see what treasures we're dealing with. Ooh, a bell. Take down that wall, guys. Alright, so we got a bell. Another puzzle piece. Gonna assemble the entire puzzle and uh, figure out what it is. Maybe it's like Nintendogs or some shit. Glow ring and the puzzle piece. We've also been pretty good on casualties. I don't think we've lost anyone actually. That's funny. Pikmin casualties are usually an inevitability. Huh. Didn't say there was a castaway nearby. I see a flower over there, though. Destroy this wall. You guys take out the vent. I see the vents are back. Oh dear God! Oh my God! This way, this way, this way, this way. Okay. You fucking thing. Oh my god! Can I restart the floor? I can rewind time. Start of sub level. Yes, I can rewind. Okay. Nintendo has realized that resetting was a major, 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 major strategy in Pikmin 2. Like, we used it and abused it. Also, I shouldn't be throwing yellows. Oh boy. This area seems large enough, though, that we could just fight it out. Guys, there's gold sitting there for some reason. I don't know why there's gold sitting there, but I want it. And I want whatever that flower is. That could be Ice Pikmin. Ice Pikmin flower? The color makes sense. I can't believe a flower that big is blooming underground. I believe it's called the candy pop bud. When you throw a Pikmin into it, they have transformed into a Pikmin that matches the color of the flower. Unbelievable. They could even change color. 
Pikmin are the strangest creatures. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this is ice. Yep. Now how do we kill him? This piece of shit. Carefully. And with surgical precision. Right, we got the nine ball. Wait. All right, now we got the nine ball. Go to town on that, fellas. I'll be back. How do we get up there? Got to be one of these vents, right? There's a treasure up there. There's got to be. I can see it sparkling. All right, fellas, we're going to go get that gold. See what we can do with that. Whoa, boy. Well, we found the way over. <gasps> it's a little train track. We'll go with the train we found in uh, the last industrial dungeon. Okay, so that's just gold. <laughs> Will is treasure. It makes sense. <sighs> okay. It's a train track. That's not treasure. Well, maybe not to you. Ah. The treasure tracker shut off. I guess that means we're done. Thank you, Mechanics from Pikmin 2. You saved the day again. But at least now I can stop being paranoid that I missed something. So that's good. Final floor? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know. Could you repeat the question? Ooh, wow. Not only is this not the final floor, there is a lot here. There is also a fair number of... ...clay required here. And a geyser. Come on, fellas. Let's see what we can do here. Oy. Well, that just goes to the exit. Okay. Is this a new bug, or is this... Quick! Nice. It's the jabby beetle.
All right. Bag. Bag. Red bag. Bag with strap. <gasps> Ice boys! <laughs> I didn't even say it. The Pikmin is on fire. Put it out with B. Stop standing on the fire! Rally team Pikmin! If we stop standing on it... Jesus Christ! All right, let me see here. Let me get my full force. And full force on that guy. Well done. Awful lot of rocks around. All right, hang on. Nice. <laughs> oh, gee, drag that corpse back. Wait, don't. I need you. Okay, give me some. Uh, Twenty? Okay, I was really scared there that they were gonna fall off. I do not like these. The cave maps are definitely more enjoyable. Less stress inducing. All right, twenty yellows. How many rocks? Fifteen. It's enough to get all of them all in one go. You love to see it. Now what the hell is that thing? So what is that thing? Is that oh, it's a clicker. It clicks up, it clicks down. It's a, it's a clicky thingy. Oh, shit! We hit 4,000. Fantastic, we accomplished our goal. With so much energy collected, we can really expand the radar search area. Ah, the radar just gave out. We must be done. Hell yeah. Everybody, everybody on the dog. Everybody, on to the dog! <sighs> Alright. Gotta pluck some new ice, boys. Because I'm starting to think now... But the ice guys are limited. Like the purple ones in Pikmin 2. We have four types of Pikmin right now. The standard red, yellow, blue, and the ice. Going off of Pikmin patterns, there should be one more. 
Now that's a blowhard. There must be a castaway nearby. Okay. We gotta weigh him down somehow. First, let's get him to blowhard. All right, we got him weighed down. Freeze him! Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> Gate now open. Very nice. <laughs> well, so far we're not getting, like, bosses. We're just getting moderately difficult enemies. Checking their ID. I hope it's another rescue officer, like our doctor or pilot. This is Dalmo. He loves animals, and they love him. A researcher at heart, his passion for other creatures is as genuine as his smile. Um, he appears to be an animal enthusiast. He must have seen the voyage log and came here looking for new species. Luckily, we found him before he got, well, eaten. How many civilians decided it'd be a good idea to go tra traipsing up to this planet? Where did the day? Did they think this was some sort of hot new tourist destination or something? <laughs> Treasure meter still going off. Also, Ice Boys, they were just hanging out up there. Nice. Oh, there it is. The two ball. I guess that'll do it for this cave. If you can call it a cave. Not really. At least we got the lamp now. So the stupid YouTube compression ain't gonna be as bad. Yep, there goes the radar. All right, take me to the surface. Pop drive, plus one. All kinds of cool stuff, like nuggets and the internal clock measurer and the middle management tank car. And the back at the beginning track. Why is it called that? <laughs> Memory fragment. Top, probably? <laughs> I think? So there's nine memory fragments, at least. We'll get them all. Ooh, it's late. We jumped into that hole really late in the day. Yeah, see? Is that thing so- okay, good. I was hoping for some persistence. Alright, well, I think we gotta go back to the first area and finish up over there. Another cave entrance over there. Just gonna skip that. 
<laughs> Dandori is the art of making up words. <laughs> the viewers will feel these new words that we've come up with. I don't fear them, I'm just very confused by them. All right. All right, we got 4,000. Did not take long. Jesus Christ. We're going to restore the Ezra Shepherd's radar and expand our search area. Gather more sparkling. It'll be replenishment complete. I will like no let's switch on the radar. And the radar will spin right round. It's working. And yes, once again we've detected more SOS signals in an unexplored area. I'm glad to hear our search radius has increased. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get out of there and find our missing rescue officers and Captain Olimar. They have leaves growing out of their head. So odd. There is poisonous oxygen in this planet's atmosphere. They shouldn't be able to survive without their helmet. Something very strange is going on here. Should we discuss the cats the way with leaves growing out of their head? This is to do and this is to be what Dingo was talking about when he told us about the leaf leaks. That's right. That castaway could be our pilot. It'd be easy to know for sure if not for all the leaves. I can't make out any features of Bernard at all. Maybe we'll get some more information after they are examined by our doctor. Maybe, but first we need to fight him. Until then, we'll let this castaway get some rest. Is that safe? They're not gonna run off, right? The last time we left someone unsupervised, they stole all our food. 